So have you ever wondered if you can make money with your Cricut Explorer 2, your Cricut Joy, your Cricut Maker? My name is Matt Vassallo with the rhinestoneworld.com. If you want to know, stick around. I'm going to show you how in this quick video. So one of the easiest ways to get started, the way I did, is doing vinyl window decals or just vinyl decals. So this is our Color Spark Adhesive Vinyl. I have my Dragon Fruit Color Changing, then I have my White Reflective. I like to use specialty type materials like this to make it unique for the customer. The tumbler I'm going to be using is just a standard skinny acrylic tumbler from saveacup.com and I'll have all the links below in the description here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a custom name within the Design Space software. We're going to cut it out on today, the Cricut Maker with these two colors. I'm going to show you how to layer it, show you how to apply it, and then I'm going to break down the pricing and show you how much money you can make on a tumbler like this. Let's get into it. All right, so getting into the materials we're going to need for this project, obviously I'm using my Cricut Maker here. I have my Save a Cup Skinny Acrylic Tumbler. I have my Color Spark Dragon Fruit Adhesive Vinyl, my Color Spark White Reflective Adhesive Vinyl, my Color Spark Medium Tack Application Tape. I have my TRW Cutting Mat, my 6 inch Squeegee, scissors, some parchment paper. I'll explain that when we get to it. And then I'm also using a light board that I just grabbed on Amazon. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create the actual custom name that we're going to put onto the Tumblr and design space. So I'm going to click on my text tool. We're going to do it for Ashley here today. Now, this unique font that I'm using right here is called our TRW Superscript font. This is a font we have available on the website. This is really unique because it has additional characters for each letter. It also, at the end, if you hit the apostrophe and if you hit the at sign and the explanation point and the number sign, you can add different tails to it as well, especially if you're doing sporty type stuff. So I have Ashley here. Now with this Ashley, what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to tighten up my spacing a tiny bit. So I just go to letter spacing and... Let's bring that just a little bit tighter. That looks good to me there, okay? So, zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to weld this together. After I weld this together, what I want to do is I want to use the new offset feature in Design Space, and this is going to create my second color. So, how big do I want this second color is the thing. I want it to kind of stand out, so I'm going to go at about... I don't want any inside areas, really. I can have one in the A right there. So what if I did like a 0 .8? 0 .18, that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to hit Apply. And there's my two cuts. So now that I have this, what I need to do is get it to the size that I want. I know that I want it to be about 5.5 inches. So I'm right about 5.489 right there. And I feel like I'm good to go with this. So, let's just go ahead and throw this up into the corner here. We can split it up if we want to here. We don't have to right here, and then let's go to make it. Now we need to go over to the Cricut Maker, and let's go ahead and get our material loaded in, because I'm going to cut both of these at the same time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the material loaded into my TRW cutting mat here. Now, one thing I love about our squeegee is it has a ruler on it as well. So what that allows me to do is I know that this cut is going to be around 6 inches, give myself a little bit of room. So that's just over 6 inches. I'm fine with that. And then I know it's going to be about 3 inches tall. So I can trim my material up. So it's pretty much about to the size that I'm going to need for this actual cut. And then I'll do the same thing with the white reflective and I'll just base that off of the dragon fruit that I just cut. Alright, now that we have our material cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to drop down my dragon fruit, and I like to squeegee it down just to make sure it's staying. And then I know at about the 4 inch mark, is where my white reflective is starting. So once we have all those, let's go ahead and open up our machine here. Let's turn this on. 
and let's get my material loaded. All right, materials loaded. Let's go back to the actual software and get this cut started. Okay, so I have my two cuts here. Now I know I'm going to cut the Ashley part first. I have the dragon fruit as my top area, but both of these cuts are going to be different cut forces. So with that being said, I'm going to cut the Ashley first. Let's go ahead and hit continue. So you can see I have my different color spark adhesive vinyls and heat transfer vinyl saved in here. But let me show you what the actual settings are. So I'm going to go to browse all materials. I'm going to scroll down here to my custom materials. And then I'm going to see all of my color spark. So I have color spark opal adhesive here. Okay. And if I go to the very bottom and go to material settings, what that's going to show me is all of the different settings for all of my materials. It's alphabetical order. So I have Color Spark Opal Adhesive. I have my cut force at 160 single cut fine point blade. And then my Color Spark Reflective Adhesive Vinyl, I have at 200 single cut and five point blade. So just so you know the two settings that I have these at in the Cricut Maker here. So let's go ahead and click off of this, come back and select my Color Spark Opal Adhesive. My pressure is going to be the default, and then we're going to go ahead and go over to the machine and click on the flashing go button. All right, so our first cut is done. Let's go over here to our second cut. I'm going to hit edit. And remember, I need to move this just down past the four inch mark because that's where I have it on the cutting mat. So let's go ahead and hit done there. And now this time I'm going to use my Color Spark Reflective Adhesive Vinyl, which was that force of 200. And let's go start this cut. All right, both cuts are done. Let's go ahead and unload it. We'll get this material weeded, we'll layer it, and we'll apply it to the tumbler, then we'll go over the pricing. So one little trick, anytime you're taking material off of a cutting mat, always turn the cutting mat upside down and roll the material off like this. That will avoid it ripping and make it a lot easier to get off your mat. Now I'm gonna use my TRW Magic Pin Tool. So pretty cool how it can just come out here and First material we're going to weed here is the Color Spark Reflective Adhesive Vinyl. Super easy there. And now I'm doing the Dragon Fruit. And you can see, as long as you have your cut settings right, how easy these materials are to weed. All right, now that we have it all weeded, it's time to go ahead and get this thing layered. So I'm using my Medium Tack Color Spark application tape. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my light board for this, and this is going to allow me to see it easier when I'm doing this layering process with my parchment paper. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to remove the application tape, and we're going to do the top layer first, of course. So I'm going to drop that down straight on to the Color Spark Dragon Fruit. I'm going to squeegee that down, roll it off the back. You can see how easy that was. Now for the second color, a lot of people like to go like this and try to eyeball it. But if you're a little bit off with adhesive vinyl, you've ruined both pieces of vinyl. An easy trick and hack that I came out with a long time ago is using this parchment paper. And what you can do is just leave a little open area on the right hand side here. Drop your decal down, move it around to wherever you want. Once you say, okay, I have it lined up right where I want it, you're going to squeegee down that right hand side. It basically formed a hinge. Lift this up, squeegee that down, and you have a perfect two color design now with no bubbles. Pretty awesome, isn't it? So this is now done and ready to apply to our tumbler. So let's get it on the tumbler. So I'm just using my tumbler holder that we made. I have videos showing you how to make these really easy. I'm going to drop my save a cup tumbler into there 
And I'm going to use the parchment paper for applying the tumbler as well because it makes it easier. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roll this off. I like to personally put the top of the name up at the top of the tumbler. So I'm going to come here. Look at that. Get that pretty straight. I think that looks pretty good to me right there. And then we'll drop this down. And now what that allows me to do is kind of work that top edge right there. I can now pull this up and now I can work my way down with the actual decal. And what this allows is to avoid all of those bubbles. Once we're good, we can just roll this off. And we have ourselves a perfect tumbler. So the question is always, what's so unique about these materials and the Color Spark adhesive vinyl you put on there? Let me show you right here real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some ice water into here. And watch what's gonna happen. So you can see a little bit of pink at the top right there because the water, the cold water isn't all the way up there, but check this out. When I put my hand over it here and my hand's a little bit warmer, it just brings back all that pink and then again, it'll change back to the purple with the ice cold water on the inside. And as you drink your drink, obviously it's going to show more pink and then it'll get all the way back to that initial pink color. Pretty awesome, isn't it? But that's not it. Check this out when a light hits it, especially at nighttime and stuff. And that's our Color Spark White Reflective Adhesive Vinyl to make it really pop. So you have color changing and you have reflective. Probably haven't seen many tumblers like this right here. Pretty awesome, isn't it? All right, so now that we have our tumbler done, let's go ahead and run through the numbers and see how much money we can actually make on these tumblers that we made with our Cricut Maker here. So the first thing we're going to figure out is the cost of our actual Color Spark adhesive vinyl. So our Dragon Fruit vinyl with about a three inch by six inch design, that's giving a little bit of room for air for where we cut it for a weed box. We have about 38 cents in the Dragon Fruit. We have about 26 cents in our flash reflective because it's less expensive, obviously. And then we have about 10 cents in our actual Color Spark medium tack application tape. Now, when it comes to the tumbler from saveacup.com, we buy a 12 pack, we get them for $3.99 each. Now we got to figure in our labor costs. So if we're paying a $12 an hour employee and we're only doing, let's say, one cup, it's going to take them probably probably about eight minutes to do that cup. So we have a dollar and 60 cents in labor cost. Now shipping, the customer's going to pay for that unless they have a big order. You do some type of shipping special. Make sure to run your numbers if you do something like that. But we have a total cost around $6.33, including all my materials and my labor. We're going to retail this two-color tumbler with this specialty type material at $17. So you can see at $17, my net profit margin is around 62.76%, which is really good. My net profit that I'm going to make is $10.67, and my profit percentage is 168%. Now, what's really cool about this is that's just doing one of these tumblers. If you're doing bulk tumblers, if you're doing something for, let's say, a wedding party or something like that, you're doing 10 of them, you're doing 15 of them, well, your labor cost is going to go way down because you're going to be able to make them a lot quicker, right? So your material cost is going to be similar. It may go down a little bit if you can gang cut it, but that labor cost is going to go way down, which means your margins and your profits are going to go way up. So... Hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully it gave you some cool ideas of what you can do with your Cricut Maker, your Explore Air, your Joy, your Cameo, whatever type of vinyl cutter you have. But getting started in a business, it is 
a pretty profitable business, especially starting out with the adhesive vinyl and the vinyl car window decals like I did when I started my business called The Decal World. So if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And remember, every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I do a live training right here on the YouTube channel. And at the end of the live training, I give away a free $300 silhouette cameo for to one of the live attendees so hope to see you on monday nights appreciate you watching this whole video links to all the products in the description below and i will see you in the next video later crew